Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I honestly had no idea what to film today, so I was thinking of ideas yesterday, and I felt really compelled to share my favorite jeans with you guys. I feel like I've become so passionate about my jeans, my denim the past couple years, and I think it's because I realized how many women struggle to find good jeans. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite brands, my favorite styles, what size I wear in each brand, what kind of shoes I wear, with that style of jean and hopefully you guys find this video helpful all of the links and my sizing information will also be down below and i did check stock on all of these styles beforehand there's a couple of them that maybe don't have like the wash still in stock or the wash is discontinued but they have the same style but i'm going to try to touch on those details as i'm trying the jeans on so, and i am filming in our dining room because our dining room table just came in and all of our chairs and everything so i feel like this is an actual like space in our home now and i feel like i'm having the realization that I can film anywhere in our house. Like, I don't know why I feel confined to my office. So hopefully this is a more interesting background, good lighting and all of that for you guys. And let's hop right in. Okay, with absolutely no surprise, my first absolute favorite, hands down, pair of everyday jeans would have to be the Abercrombie 90 Straight Ultra High Rise jeans. So all three of the pairs that I have are in the Curve Love. Abercrombie also offers just like their regular straight fit. I prefer the Curve Love because I have more athletic um, thighs and like more athletic bum, I guess you could say. Uh, so I need the extra space in my bum and in my legs. The Curve Love is perfect for me. Abercrombie does have a bit more of like a rigid waistband, I would say that. So if you're kind of in between sizes, I do recommend sizing up for comfort. I wear mine in a size 25 Curve Love regular length, although I did cut mine. So I do have a reel and I believe I posted it here on YouTube as well, like a short on how I cut my jeans really really easy i honestly just cut them straight across at the bottom and wash them and i cut them like right at ankle length because that's what i like so it's kind of like where my ankle boots hit and things like that so all three of these pairs have been cut um but what i love about these jeans is number one they are very comfortable they're not necessarily something i want to wear maybe on a car ride or something like that but for a pair of jeans to wear every day that are so flattering these are the ones that i grab for the pocket placement in the back i feel like just gives you the ultimate bum like it honestly flatters your bum better than any jeans i've ever put on in my life and all abercrombie jeans have done that for me and i've tried almost all the styles that they offer at this point and i just always find that the bum on the abercrombie jeans in my opinion is the best so if you have not tried them i highly recommend these ones in particular do have a little bit of stretch but not a ton so they still have that kind of denim feel but they have a little bit of stretch for comfort i don't find that these are like baggy or loose by the end of the day i do feel like they loosen up a little bit but you don't have that like saggy bum loose waistband situation like you do with other jeans so i have washed and worn these a million times i have them in three colors i have this color here which i will mention down below the exact name because i know that they have a couple shades of like an off-white white and a tan so absolutely love these i have the lighter wash it's kind of like a bleach wash these were the og the ones that i started with and where i fell in love with abercrombie jeans this is like where it all began and then i ended up getting the medium wash as well which i absolutely love so nice soft denim great quality like i said i've washed and worn these a million times and they hold up perfectly i do like to dry my jeans because then it just kind of gets them to like form back up i find when i air dry these specifically these lighter ones they do get a little bit like stiff um i almost feel like you can like see like these ones are like yummy and squishy and then i think my mom might have air dried these last time she was here because she's so lovely and does our laundry when she visits um and they feel a little stiff so i do like to wash dry and just love them so much so i want to score these so flattering i would score these a 10. comfort wise i would score these probably a nine only because when i sit down sometimes i do have the urge to unbutton them and i do unbutton them because like i said the waist is a bit more rigid but i also feel like that contributes to how flattering they are they really suck you in at the waist okay next up i have another pair of Abercrombie jeans that I absolutely love. And these are the high rise 
mom jeans. So these I don't have in the Curve Love. Actually, neither of these are the Curve Love. These are a lot stretchier. They're like a thinner denim, more of like a comfort denim in my opinion. So I don't find that I need the Curve Love as much in these as I do the other ones that are a bit more rigid. So these I just kind of like fill them out a little bit more. Um, and they definitely don't have that like loose fit other than like at the bottom of the leg. But I do feel like these are a really great style if you're not totally into the wide leg or the baggy jean but you don't want to be in skinny jeans anymore the mom jean is where it's at these are just like a good comfortable casual like if we're running to soccer practice on the weekend these with a big sweatshirt are just so cute with sneakers comfy easy to throw on these for comfort i would say for denim are 10 out of 10 the comfort is insane like these i would absolutely wear on a road trip or something like that as far as being flattering i would say they're like a 9.5 out of 10 i don't think they're as flattering as the 90s um straight jeans from abercrombie i find that like high higher rise almost like rib cage uh high-waisted jeans are like more flattering on me and these come just a little bit lower even though they are high rise i just find that they kind of come to like my belly button rather than like that inch above my belly button kind of range so it's the only reason i would give them a 9.5 i'm being like really picky just because i don't want to give everything a 10 out of 10 so the darker ones are a size 24 and the lighter ones are a size 25 i will say the size 25 i do feel like by the end of the day sometimes they feel a little loose like these ones seem to like bag out a little bit i think it's because they're already like my size up so maybe in these ones if you're in between sizes size down i'm not sure if they even carry these i like i said i looked online before filming and i couldn't find this exact color if i can i'll obviously link it down below but if not i'll link their new washes they have a ton that are similar some that are distressed some that are not but at least you'll be able to get your hands on the same fit Okay, let's move on to Levi's because I feel like I've been a little bit late to the game with Levi's because it just took me a while to like try them. I feel like when Target started carrying them, then I was like, they were more accessible. They were more access accessible. Yeah. So that's when I kind of started like dabbling in the Levi's and trying them out. So the first ones that I tried were the, not those ones, these ones. These are the wedgie straight in a size 24. These are just a good medium wash jean. The denim itself is very soft. It does have a very good amount of stretch in them. And I thought for sure that I was not going to like these because it is a button fly, which I find adds a lot of bulk in the front of a lot of jeans. But for whatever reason, in these Levi's, it's actually still very, very slimming. And I don't find that it adds any weird bulk in the front. I actually find it to be very, very flattering. And then for the style, the wedgie straight, these would again be another really great style to try if you don't want to be in like full skinny jeans anymore, but you're not ready to go for the baggy, loose, wide leg, or you don't feel like it's flattering on you or whatever it is. These would be a really great option because they're like skinny without being fully skinny they kind of just are like straight at the bottom so i will say these are very fitted on me i fill them out like completely so if you size up you can probably get a slightly like looser more straight more modest fit where these are like jeans that i would wear out on a date night with my hubby because my booty's popping in these on a scale from one to ten as far as flattering i really feel like these jeans are a 10 they're so stinking flattering and for comfort i would honestly say probably a 9.5 again they're like a little bit rigid in the waist but i have i'm kind of in between sizes i'm in between a 24 and a 25 so a lot of times if it's a 24 then when i sit down i almost want to unbutton my pants like after i eat um or something like that so really great pair of jeans there they're a great pair to wear with like strappy lacy heels or something like that but they also look cute with a flat sneaker and then another pair of Levi's that I've absolutely been loving lately are the Ribcage Ankle Straight. And I have mine in a size 24. So these are definitely more of like your typical straight leg. They're looser. And these ones I would say definitely size down, especially if you're in between sizes because they do run a bit big. But these for comfort, you guys, these are like an 11 out of 10 for comfort. They are insane. There are days that I will grab for these instead of leggings or yoga pants because they are that comfortable. And as far as how flattering they are, I honestly feel like they're super flattering too. Like I, I don't know, I'm thinking like a 9.5. They don't like totally cinch me, suck me in at the waist, but I can curl up on the couch in these. They are heavenly and I do really like that they're like looser. I feel like these are a nice casual everyday jean. They look cute with sneakers. Um, I don't know if I've tried these with heels. I probably should try these with heels just to see, but I usually wear these with like flats or um, 
like flat sneakers. Definitely recommend these. I haven't owned these for a very long time, but my other Levi's, as far as like durability, sustainability, they are in perfect condition. I've worn them multiple times, washed them multiple times, and owned them for over a year now. So I'm assuming these will be the same. Okay, next up, I wanna talk about my Madewell jeans. So I am very new to Madewell jeans, and I've heard people rave about them in the past, but I just, I don't know, we don't really have one close to us. I, it just has taken me a while to get around to trying them. So. I have a few, actually, I have three pairs, but I think they're all the same style. So these are the per, the perfect vintage, the perfect vintage straight jeans. And I have all three pairs in a size 24. I love these jeans so much. Like I can absolutely say that they are worth the price. The comfort level on these two specifically, this like lighter wash with the crisscross waist, which I don't believe they still have this wash in stock, but I think they have other washes with the crisscross waist if you like that. But these ones along with this medium kind of wash, the comfort is insane. Like these have the craziest amount of stretch in them. Again, these are jeans that I would absolutely wear or grab for over leggings or yoga pants because they're that freaking comfortable. The pocket placement on these is again, really great, very flattering, but I really like the straight legs of these. Again, these are just like a good everyday, not too loose, not too tight kind of a jean, something that kind of looks good with like every shoe that you wanna pair them with. They do not have a rigid waist at all. Like I find I can sit in these, I can travel in these, like they're just so freaking comfortable. The only thing I will say with Madewell jeans is I find that when they carry different um, washes, sometimes, some washes are stretchier than others. So my darker wash is a tiny bit more like rigid and not as stretchy. Like the waist is a bit more rigid. They're just not as stretchy. So something to kind of be aware of if you're interested in these jeans, maybe order like two different washes, a darker and a lighter and um, see what you think. But I highly recommend the Perfect Vintage Straight from Madewell. I clearly love them. And they seem to wash and wear really well. One pair I've had for like, I don't know, eight, nine plus months now, and they are in perfect condition. Same exact condition as when I bought them. Said for flattering wise, I don't know, I give them like a solid nine because they're still really good. Comfort is 10. Okay, lastly, these are a very new recent fave of mine. I got these from Revolve. They're by the brand Girlfriend, which I've never heard of this brand before. I've never owned anything from this brand. And these are the only pair that are like really not stretchy. Like these are like a true denim, but it's a very soft kind of lightweight denim. So they're not like heavy, stiff or anything like that. These are the widest leg of all the jeans that I have shown today. And I just feel like these I reach for like when I go out or... Yeah, I think I've worn these like three or four times when we go out to dinner or I wear them on like a girls weekend. They look really, really cute with like a little crop type of top um, or blouse with some heels. I just love how loose and baggy they are, but they're still very flattering and they're so stinking comfortable. Like for jeans that are not stretchy, I was a little shook at how comfy these are just because of how soft they are and how well they fit. And I also obviously like the looser the denim, the more comfy they're gonna be. But these are a dream. I absolutely love them. And I have these in a size 25. I love the fit. They're just like a little bit loose. I definitely don't think I would have wanted the 24. So I would say they kind of go with your true size if you're in between sizes definitely go up these do loosen up on you but in like a good way like they look just as good as they loosen up so comfort wise these are solid nine and a half nine nine and a half when you sit down sometimes these do ride up my crotch a little bit um, I think just because they're so high-waisted and I find that with all my high-waisted jeans like I kind of need to shimmy them down before I sit down otherwise it's just all going up and then as far as being flattering I feel like these are a 10 out of 10 and these also have the button fly which you know what maybe I'll give it like a 9.8 because if these had a zip fly I would I would never take them off absolutely love these and I know that in these there's limited sizes in this wash but they have other washes as well Okay guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to start this as like a series, I'm feeling like we're getting settled into our house. Like we're really feeling settled. Summer is like coming to a close and we're gonna not be as busy and crazy and insane as we have been this summer doing all the things. And I'm just feeling like I wanna like mix it up. 
I wanna mix it up a little bit. I'm getting bored. I'm getting bored with like filming the same way and I'm getting bored with just do, like being so repetitive. And I know that like my try on hauls do really well, but I wanna do, I wanna incorporate more things. So. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, I have been a lot more active on there. I'm already like, I was already super active on there. I'm on my story every single day sharing just random things like, like what I eat every day, um, hair and makeup, things that I'm loving, kid stuff, mom stuff, house stuff. Like I'm sharing just a little bit of everything over there on a daily basis. But even more so recently, I've been posting a reel like three plus times a week and posting photos with like thoughtful captions and really opening up in the captions about different topics and things like that. So if you don't already, definitely go follow me over on Instagram. I just feel like I can connect with you guys a lot easier on there because I am so active on there. You can message me and nine out of 10 messages I do see and respond to. Sometimes it gets a little chaotic and I like lose them here and there, but I really try to be as active as I can on there. So yes. Um, also on TikTok, and I will leave all my handles down below. And I hope you guys are all doing well. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.